Welcome back to Kittens and Crochet YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this turtle. So we've made a turtle in the past. This one. It's more like a sea turtle and this is more of a land turtle. For this tutorial, you will need a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. You also need two different colors of yarn. I'm going to be using medium four. This one is Red Heart Super Saver and it is light gray. And then I'm also using Karen medium four and this color is peach. So you can either do plastic eyes or if you feel more comfortable stitching in eyes you can do that as well so if you're using plastic eyes you will need eyes and glue and if you're stitching in eyes you'll need black fine to yarn and a smaller yarn needle to go with that you will also need a pair of scissors a larger yarn needle for attaching the legs the head and the tail Optional is a marker, which I highly recommend. And then you will also need washable stuffing. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna begin with making the head. So go ahead and grab whatever color you want the head, the legs, and the tail to be, and make a magic circle with six stitches. All right, so for row two, you're gonna put two single crochets in each of the six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that's the end of row two, and you should now have 12 stitches around. Row three is gonna be one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets into the next stitch. And you'll just repeat that all the way around. So you got one in the first and two in the second. One in the first, two into the second. One in the first, two into the second, one in the first, two into the second, one in the first, two into the second, one in the first, and then two into this last stitch. And that is the end of row three, and you should now have 18 stitches around. Row four is a row even, so you're gonna place one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And that is the end of row four. Row five is also a row even. So again, one single crochet in each of the 18 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And that is the end of row five. And row six is another row even. So again, just one single crochet in each of the 18 stitches around. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And that is the end of row six. Go ahead and take a moment and make sure that your starting circle is nice and tight because now we're going to go ahead and decrease. So for row seven, it's going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to invisible decrease two together and we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to invisible decrease two together. Just in case you don't know what that is, you have a front and a back loop for each stitch. To invisible decrease, you're just going to go under the front loop of the first stitch, and then you're going to go under the front loop of the second stitch. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So then again, it's going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and invisible will decrease two together. I'll do this one slow as well. You're going to go under the front loop only of the first stitch and then under the front loop only of the second stitch. So now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two and then yarn over and pull through the last two. So just continue all the way around doing one single crochet in the first and then invisible decreasing. If you get to the end of this row and something is not right, it's possible that you are accidentally going into, like this is the next stitch here. It's possible that you might have accidentally gone into this, which is actually part of the decrease. So if you get to the end of the row and you have to redo it, just watch out for that. Great. 
So that's the end of row seven and you should now have 12 stitches around. For row eight, we're gonna do one single crochet in the first three stitches. So one, two, three. And now in the next six stitches, we're gonna place one half double crochet. So one half double crochet in the next six. Right, so that leaves you with three stitches left. You're going to put one single crochet in each of these three stitches. So you still have 12 stitches because we didn't increase or decrease any. Row nine is going to be the same exact thing. We'll do one single crochet in the first three stitches. And then in the next six stitches, we're gonna place one half double crochet. Now we have three stitches left and they will each just get one single crochet. Okay, so now go into the next stitch and slip stitch. And go ahead and cut yourself a long yarn tail for attaching and pull that through. And this is the head of your turtle made. So go ahead and set that aside and we will move along to the legs. Okay, so now we're gonna make a leg. So go ahead and make a magic circle with six stitches. For row two, we're going to put two single crochet in each of the six stitches. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that's the end of row two. Row three is gonna be a row even, but we're only gonna work in the back loops of each of these stitches. So again, there's a front loop and a back loop. So you're just gonna go under the back loops and place one single crochet in each. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row three. Row four is a row even, and we're back to just doing it normal underneath both loops. So one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row four. <laughs> he was like, how dare you move me? Row five is also a row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row five. In row six, which is our final row, is also one row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row six. So now we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch and cut yourself a long yarn tail. For attaching and go ahead and pull that through and now you can set that aside and we will continue with the other legs to begin the leg we're going to make a magic circle with six stitches For row two, we're going to put two single crochet in each of these six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row two. Row three is going to be one single crochet in each of the back loops only. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
and 12. And that is the end of row three. Row four is going to be a row even, so one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches. And we're moving back to doing it under both loops, so just normal. And that is the end of row four. And row five is also a row even. And that is the end of row five. And row six, which is our final row, is also a row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, and twelve, and that is the end of row six, which completes our leg. So go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch and finish off leaving a long yarn tail for attaching. So now that your second leg's done, go ahead and set this aside, and we will make the third leg. To begin the leg, we're going to make a magic circle with six stitches. For row two, we're going to put two single crochet in each of these six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row two. Row three is going to be one single crochet in each of the back loops only. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that is the end of row three. Row four is going to be a row even, so one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches. And we're moving back to doing it under both loops, so just normal.
and that is the end of row four and row five is also a row even and 12 and that is the end of row 5 and row 6 which is our final row is also a row even 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, and 12. And that is the end of row six, which completes our leg. So go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch and finish off leaving a long yarn tail for attaching. And now your third leg is done. So go ahead and set this aside and we'll make a final leg. To begin the leg, we're going to make a magic circle with six stitches. For row two, we're going to put two single crochet in each of these six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And that's the end of row two. Row three is gonna be one single crochet in each of the back loops only. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that is the end of row three. Row four is going to be a row even. So one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches. And we're moving back to doing it under both loops. So just normal. And that is the end of row four. And row five is also a row even. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Eleven and twelve, and that is the end of row five. In row six, which is our final row, is also a row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, and twelve. And that is the end of row six, which completes our leg. So go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch and finish off leaving a long yarn tail for attaching. And now our fourth and final leg is complete. Let's go ahead and move on to the tail. All right, to begin the tail, we're gonna go ahead and make a magic circle with four stitches. For row two of the tail, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets into the second stitch. Since there are only four stitches, it's going to be a little tight getting into them to start. Sometimes I will go ahead and hook the stitch I'm going into just to stretch it out. Okay, so we're going to do one single crochet in this first stitch. And then two single crochets into this next stitch. And then repeat that again. One single crochet into this first stitch and two single crochets into the next which is the last because there was only four stitches in that magic circle so your work probably rolled inside out like mine did so just go ahead and roll it back right side out And now I'm going to use my marker. So that was the end of row two, and you should now have six stitches around. For row three, we're going to do the same thing we just did. One single crochet into the first stitch and two single crochets into the next stitch. So one in the first. And two into the second. And then we're just going to repeat this one in the first and two into the second. And again, one in the first and two into this last stitch. And that is the end of row three, and you should now have nine stitches around. Row four is one row even, so one single crochet in each of the nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and that is the end of row four row five is going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to invisible decrease two together and we're going to repeat that all the way around so one single crochet in this first stitch and then we're going to invisible decrease two together which if you remember you're just going under the front loops 
of the two stitches. And then just repeat this. One in the first, and invisible decrease, two together. One in the first, and invisible decrease, two together. And that is the end of row five, and you should now have six stitches around. And this is also the end of our tail. So we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch and leave yourself a long yarn tail for attaching and then pull that through. And here's your tail. So let's now move on to the shell. Now we're making the shell, so I changed colors. To start it, we're gonna start with a magic circle with six stitches. For row two, we're going to put two single crochet in each of these six stitches. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row two. For row three, we're gonna put two single crochets in the first three stitches. So, got two in the first, and two into the second, and two into this third stitch. And now we're gonna do one single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And now we're just gonna repeat. We're gonna put two single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, one, two, one, and two and now we have three stitches left and you will put one single crochet in each of these stitches and that is the end of row three and you should now have 18 stitches around for row four we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch And now we're gonna do two single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two in the first, one, two in the second, one, two in the third, one, and two into the fourth. Now we're gonna do one single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. 
And now we're going to do two single crochet into the next four stitches. So you got one, two into the first, one, two into the second, one, two into the third, one, and two into the fourth. And now you should have four stitches remaining. So you're going to put one single crochet in each of these four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And that is the end of row four. And you should now have 26 stitches around. For row five, we're going to repeat this four times. We're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets into the second stitch. Again, we're going to do this four times. So one in the first and two into the second. That was once. One in the first and two into the second. That was twice. One in the first and two into the second, three times, one in the first, and two into the second, and that makes four times. Now we're going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then again, we're going to repeat four times, one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets into the second stitch. So one in the first and two in the second. That was once. One in the first and two into the second. That was twice. One in the first and two into the second three times, one in the first, and two into the second, and that was four times. So now you should have five stitches remaining. Go ahead and place one single crochet in each of those five stitches. Now it's the end of row five and you should now have 34 stitches around. Row six is a row even, so one single crochet in each of the 34 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. And that is the end of row six. Row seven is going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to repeat six times one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets into the next stitch so we're going to do one in the first and two into the second and that was once one in the first and two into the second 
that was twice one in the first and two into the second that is three times one in the first and two into the second and that is four times one in the first and two into the second that is five times one in the first and two into the second and that is six times now in the next five stitches you're going to place one single crochet so one two three four and five and now again we're going to repeat six times one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet into the next so one in the first and two into the second that was once one in the first and two into the second twice one in the first and two into the second three times one in the first and two into the second and that was four times one into the first and two into the second five times one in the first peanut and two into the second and that was the sixth time so now you should have four stitches remaining you're just going to place one single crochet in each of these four stitches and that's the end of row seven and you should now have 46 stitches around and here is what I'm working with he just wants to hang out. Okay, moving on to row eight. Row eight is gonna be a row even, so one single crochet in each of the 46 stitches that you have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. And that is the end of row eight. Row nine is also a row even, so one single crochet in each of the 46 stitches.
All right, and that is the end of our nine. Row 10 is also going to be a row even, so one single crochet in each of the 46 stitches. All right, that is the end of row 10. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is the first stitch of this next row, we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into it. Now for row 11, we're going to be working into the front loops only and we're going to chain one and then single crochet into the front loop of this next stitch and now we're just going to keep repeating chain one and single crochet into the front loop only chain one single crocheting in the front loop only chain one and then just continue doing this all the way around Just remember as you're doing this to only be going in the front loops. And this is what your shell should be looking like.
Okay, so now we're getting to the end here. So now we're going to do our last single crochet into this stitch, front loop only. And now go ahead and chain one. Okay, so if you look at your work, here is where we slip stitched into that first chain of this row. And here is our chain one single crochet. You're just going to go under this chain one here and do a slip stitch. like that and go ahead and cut yourself a really long yarn tail because you're going to use this yarn tail to attach the shell to the bottom of your turtle and go ahead and pull that through and pull it tight and here is your shell so we're going to go ahead and move on to the bottom of the turtle. All right, to start the bottom of the turtle, we're going to make a magic circle with six stitches. For row two, we're going to do two single crochet in each of the six stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. For row three, we're going to do two single crochet into the first three stitches. One, two, one, two, one, and two. And now we're going to do one single crochet in the next three. One, two, three. And then we're going to do two single crochets in the next three stitches. One, two, one, two, one, and two. And now we got three stitches left. We're going to do one single crochet in each of these three stitches. For row four, we're going to do one single, one single crochet in the first stitch. And then we're going to do two single crochets into the next four stitches. So one, two in the first, one, two in the second, one, two in the third one and two into the fourth now we're going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches one two three four five 
And now we're going to do two single crochets into the next four stitches. One, two, once, one, two, twice, one, two, three times, one, and two, and that was four times. And now we have four stitches remaining. We're going to do one single crochet in each of these four stitches. And that was the end of row four. And we now have 26 stitches around. For row five, we're going to be doing one single crochet in the first two stitches and then two single crochets into the third stitch and we're going to be repeating this all the way around until the end when we get to the end there'll be only two stitches left which we'll just put one single crochet in each of those two stitches so again we're going to do one single crochet in the first two stitches and then two single crochets into the third stitch and then we're just going to repeat this all the way around so one in the first one in the second and two into the third one in the first one in the second and two into the third one in the first one in the second and two into the third one in the first, one in the second, and two into the third, one in the first, one in the second, and two into the third, one in the first, one in the second, and two into the third, one in the first, one in the second, and two into the third. And this is where we end and there's only two single crochets left, or two stitches left, my bad. We're gonna be putting one single crochet in each of these two stitches. So one and then two. And that is the end of row five, and you should now have 34 stitches around. Moving on to row six, you're gonna do one single crochet in the first stitch, and then we're gonna do two single crochets into this next stitch. Now we're gonna do one single crochet in the next nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now in this next stitch, place two single crochets. And now place one single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now in the next stitch, place two single crochets. And now in the next nine stitches, place one single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now in the next stitch, two single crochets. And now you should have five stitches remaining. Go ahead and place one single crochet in each of those five stitches.
and that's the end of row six, and you should now have 38 stitches around. To begin row seven, you're gonna place one single crochet in the first stitch. Now, go ahead and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, if you look down at your work, we're gonna skip the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four, and then in this fifth stitch, go ahead and place a single crochet. And now place one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then again, looking at your work, skip the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And in this fifth stitch, go ahead and place a single crochet. And then in the next five stitches, also place one single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And now chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then looking at your work, skip the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And place a single crochet into that fifth stitch. And then place one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And again, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And in this fifth stitch, go ahead and place a single crochet. And then you have four stitches remaining. Go ahead and place one single crochet in each of these four stitches. And that is the end of row seven. So if you wanna look at this real fast, you should have one single crochet, chain six, and you skipped over four. And now you should have one, two, three, four, five single crochets in a row. Chain six, and you skipped over four. And then you should have six, one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets in a row. Chain six. And then you should have five single crochets in a row. Chain six. And then you should have five single crochets in a row again. Now moving on to row eight. In this first stitch, we're gonna put one half double crochet in the back loop only. And now when we get to our chain six, we're gonna put one single crochet in each chain one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now in this next stitch, we're gonna put a half double crochet in the back loop only. Now we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. So now if you look at your work, we're gonna skip three stitches. One, two, and three. 
In this next stitch, we're going to put a half double crochet in the back loop only. And that takes us to our next chain six. We're going to put one single crochet in each of the chains. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now in the next six stitches, we're going to do one half double crochet in each of the back loops only. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're to another chain six. We're gonna do one single crochet in each of these chains. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now in the next stitch, we're going to do one half double crochet in the back loop only. And now we're going to chain one. And looking back at our work, we're going to skip three stitches. One, two, three. And in this next stitch, we're going to do half double crochet in the back loop only. And then we're back to a chain six. So we're going to do one single crochet in each of these chains. And now we're going to finish out with doing one half double crochet in each of the back loops only of these five remaining stitches. One. Two, three, four, and five. And just to recap here, we did a half double crochet in the back loop only. And then we did one single crochet in each of the six chains. We did a half double crochet in the back loop only, chained five and skipped three stitches, and did one half double crochet in the back loop only of this stitch. We did one single crochet in each of the six chains we did one half double crochet in each of these six stitches in the back loops only. And then we did one single crochet in each of the six chains. And then one half double crochet in the back loop only of this next stitch. We chained one and skipped three stitches and placed a half double crochet in the back loop of this stitch. We did one single crochet in each of the six chains and then we finished out by doing one half double crochet in the remaining five stitches in their back loops only. If you hear my cats are running around the house like crazy right now, I'm sorry for that. So again, counting the chains as a stitch, you should still only have 46 stitches around. So for row nine, we're going to do one row even, and that is including putting one single crochet in each chain. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. And now just go ahead into your next stitch and slip stitch. And then finish off. You don't have to leave as long as a yarn tail. Just enough for you to be able to hide it later. And there is the bottom of your turtle. So now we'll go ahead and move on to assembling. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is weave in this yarn tail. Just to hide it and get it out of the way. Just take it down through some stitches of the body here. And then pull it away. And you can snip it free. And then the center yarn tail, just go ahead and make sure it's nice and tight. So the first things we're going to attach are the legs and they go in these four holes here. So go ahead and grab a leg and make sure that center yarn tail is nice and tight and you can go ahead and snip it shorter. And then get your yarn tail on your crochet needle. And I always start with the bottom facing me and then I'll just go through a stitch of the bottom here and pull the leg up to it and then just go through the stitch of the leg and then I'm just going to continue this all the way around going under a stitch of the bottom of the turtle and then up into the next stitch of the leg. And then when you get to the side of the Whole, just go through a stitch of that and then just continue going through a stitch of the body and a stitch of the leg
And after you've made it all the way around and your leg is attached, just go ahead and go through the body one last time. And then looking at the inside of the leg, just go ahead and find a stitch to knot off on. And go ahead and hold that tight. And sometimes I'll just go ahead and do it twice just to make sure it's nice and secure. And then you can either cut this yarn tail a little shorter. I just go ahead and stuff it in the leg. And there is one of your legs attached. So go ahead and attach the other three and I will meet you back here after we have all our legs attached. Okay, so you should now have all your legs attached. So now we're gonna go ahead and attach the head. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is go ahead and stuff the head. So the shape of the head, it should kind of point up a little bit. So go ahead and get that nice and stuffed. And we can add more as we go. So there is only two holes left so there's the big one for the head and then this little small one for the tail. So we're going to attach the head in the same exact way that we attach the legs. So if you look at your work like this, go ahead and flip your turtle upside down. And you're going to want to start over in this first stitch here Okay, so here is my head attached. Um, if you attach it and you don't like the way it's leaning, if it ended up being like crooked, just go ahead and pull out your strands and reattach it just slightly different. But I'm satisfied with how it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and knot off. Okay, so you can take this time to add more stuffing if you need some. Alright, 
So let's go ahead and move on to the tail. So just make sure that your center hole is closed up and go ahead and cut that center yarn tail short. And we're going to attach the tail the same way that we've attached everything else. And it's the only hole left that's in the back here. And you're not going to stuff your tail. Again, once your tail is attached, go ahead and knot off. And then you can cut your tail shorter. Alright, so now we have everything attached, we're going to go ahead and put the shell on. I almost forgot, before we attach the shell, we're going to go ahead and stuff the legs. So go ahead and just stuff the legs of your turtle. And if you want, you can also cut this a little shorter. So just make sure all your legs are stuffed. Make sure you're satisfied with how your head is stuffed. And now if you look at your shell, go ahead and make sure that center circle is closed up and you can snip that center yarn tail shorter. And then take your yarn tail and we're going to work it down your shell here. Just to right before this front loop is. So if you see all these loops right here, these are the remaining front loops from row 11. There's 46 of them and there is 46 stitches on the shell. So the shell is oval shaped. So I always start where we slip stitched here on this side. And then just make sure that your shell is sitting on top of your turtle properly. because it is oval shaped and then line that up where your shell is here and meet it up with the bottom and then just like we were attaching the legs head and tail to the bottom we're going to attach the shell to the bottom by going in a stitch at the bottom and up through the remaining loop of the shell. And we're just going to continue doing this all the way around. Just make sure after you pull it through each stitch you pull it tight.
before moving on to the next one. So that way you don't have any gaps anywhere. And just keep working around here. Okay, so once you get to the point where you have a little over half of your shell attached, you can go ahead and add some stuffing. And then just continue on stuffing or continue on attaching. And as you're attaching, you can just readjust how the stuffing is in your turtle and add more stuffing as you go. So as you get to the close here, there's only a little hole left. Go ahead and check over your turtle. This is your last opportunity to add any stuffing, rearrange any stuffing inside. And once you're satisfied, go ahead and close up these final stitches. All right, now as I said, there's 46 bottom stitches and 46 loops. If you get to the end and you accidentally skipped a loop or whatnot, just go ahead and seal it off. It's okay if it's just 
one off it won't look that bad but if it bothers you enough you can go ahead and uh, take the shell off and reattach from the beginning put some stuff in here so go ahead and knot off And then just take your yarn tail in through the body. You can just take it out a couple places. And then go ahead and give it a little tug and snip it. And here is your turtle. So now we're going to go ahead and give it eyes. And I don't know why my camera doesn't show the color very well. From what I see, it looks like a yellowish, orangish, orangish color. This shell is actually more of a pink. It's like a peach color. It goes with the gray. It looks really cute in person. So let's go ahead and finish off with the eyes. So as I said, um, you can stitch the eyes in if you feel more comfortable doing that. Um, if you're going to stitch them in, I would go over top of row five. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, when I stitch these in, I went over top of this row five. So there's that option. This option that I'm going to do is the way I prefer. But if you have smaller children, you might not want to which I completely understand. Um, I'm gonna glue the eyes in. So I'm gonna actually place these in between rows four and five. So if you count one, two, three, four, this row four, this row five. So I'm gonna plop one up in here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, which you can just stay within this row and take it over and plop one in. So then you can play around with it, looking at your turtle if you wanna move them over. You just play around with it till you find what you like. Okay, so after finding my placement and being happy with it, one at a time, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue And then I'm just going to slowly twist this in. That way the glue is getting everywhere. And now I'll do the same thing to the other side. All right, and here is the turtle. So I hope you guys really enjoyed making this turtle with me. Um, if you haven't checked out the tutorial for the sea turtle, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. So thank you again so much. Uh, check out my other playlist. I also have baby security blankets and I have a bunch of different animals that can be made. Thank you for watching.